Hello, this is Ekushan from Twitter. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, how to build um, a PS4 payload and uh, send it uh, to your PS4. So um, we're going to try this with a simple payload first. Uh, I chose uh, React uh, PS Plus, which is a um, um, for 5.05 .05 currently uh, it was made by 0xff uh, and it sets back uh, the time um, for for the SDK we're going to use the PS4 payload SDK uh, from um, the scene collective and to send the payloads we're going to use PS4 payload sender um, uh, from uh, Valentine uh, Bryce. Uh, so uh, first things first, we need to open up. Ah uh, yes, we will. We'll also need a, a WSL installed and GCC and Make installed. So um, for this, we're going to go here, and we are going to go to the PS4 Payload SDK folder and we're going to hold shift and right click and we're going to open the linux shell uh, this is when you have installed uh, um, wsl F for people which have uh, linux it's not necessary you just right click and uh, open the the shell and for people who have mac um, uh, there are uh, tool chains for that uh, and you can use those so you open the Linux shell here it will take a, a while to open and now uh, to compile the SDK and to add it to the path it's already everything set for you you just type sudo bash install.sh and you put your password and it will fetch the latest uh, toolchain and everything else for you this might take a few seconds alright, now it's compiling and it just added to the path Okay, now it's that it's set and done, we're just going to go uh, here to our React PS Plus folder. This is the simplest uh, payload uh, that you can build for, for kernel that I know. Uh, it's very simple to compile, uh, but of course you need the offsets for the, the kernel if you if you, you are not on 5.05. If you're, for example, on 9.00, you need the 9.000 uh, offsets. So you go here, you go to source, you go to main.c. You can see the, the source here. Um, so uh, here you can see the kernel base. This is relative to 5.05. .05 you can see one of the functions of the kernel which is SCE, SPL, secure RTC, clear time difference which is uh, kernel base relative uh, 0x634690 and you see the function uh, SCE, SPL, secure RTC, uh, set time which is uh, relative to base um, 634090 so for this um, you don't need to change this function it, it has to be with the clear time difference uh, 15 and for the set time this one you can change um, for example this is this is unix time so you go here to to google and you search for unix x timestamp so you go here and um, it should take a while to load you go here 
and um, so this is uh, the current timestamp you if you convert it you see that it's 19 April uh, 2022 and it's uh, 8 o'clock p.m. so uh, if you for example set this uh, to 1 and you convert it will be January 1st uh, 1970 so if you for example want to set the time to 1 you can or, or uh, in this case I, I'm not sure if it's January 1st uh, 1970 but you can you can check for yourself you can you can just put one here and you save it it's set so now you go you, you go here to the main folder where the make file is you hold shift right click open Linux shell here now since the SDK is already installed you can just type make so you make you wait a few seconds and it's compiled here you can see the the name of the payload react ps plus dot bin and now for the the final part which is to send it to your ps4 um, to send it to the ps4 you need to um, to uh, to launch the bin loader uh, you can find it on several uh, several uh, places my favorite place is um, caro 218.ir uh, um, you can go here for example 5.05 gold you can go to the tools group and you can see here the bin loader you can see the port it's 9020 so for that yes you're going to have to open this on the the ps4 browser and then you're gonna you're going to have to to click here and it will say loading and it, it would say uh, listening to to port uh, 9020 after this you go here to the ps4 payload center or uh, yes you need to note down the ps4 ip when it's when it's connected to the internet you go here so in your IP address you type in the IP for example uh, imagine that mine is uh, 192.168.1.16 uh, the port has to be the correct port so 9020 um, you click here on connect if it works uh, successfully uh, this this button will unlock uh, you click uh, here on browse it will open a window and you will select the the payload for example this one and uh, when it's selected the third button should unlock to send the payload and you click here on send payload and it will uh, send the payload to the PS4 uh, now since this is a payload that uh, doesn't have any notification as you can see here doesn't have any notification status uh, it will not show anything on the screen so um, the only thing that you, it will do it is, is to set the internal uh, clock uh, to the very first second of the of the PS4 uh, date so uh, this is useful if you want to uh, uh, enable your licenses uh, activation status and other stuff okay so this concludes uh, today's uh, tutorial uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you have any questions you can ask in the comments uh, below the video um, if you like the video please uh, do a do a subscription if you want or uh, leave a leave a, a message below and uh, tell tell me what you think uh, thank you